large male presence with me. Recording. Recording. With me. I think so. I think it's a lot older than you, though. Hang on. Okay. Hang on. Do you get along more with guys than you do women? Yes. Cool. Okay. Because whoever, like your, I guess we'd call them your guides. I just call them people that help you out. Like people try always put a name to them, like whatever. Um, they're mainly male, which is interesting. So it's like they like vibe with you a little bit more. Like you know how to chill with them more. Um, another thing with that is, do you have a big family around you? Or do you have a lot of family around you? Um, I call them friends, but they're like considered family, yeah. Yeah, it's like people that watch, watch out after each other. Make yes. sure everything's cool. Make sure we're all doing okay. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Who is, hang on, now I'm just kind of getting into you at the same time. Is your, is your mother's father passed? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Are you okay with dead people coming through too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Okay. He's funny. Hang on. He said I wasn't the best. Was he not the best person? No. Yeah. He said I tried hard. I'm like, okay, whatever. That's a whole nother thing. Going back, wait, are you and your mother close, but y'all like really get into it with each other? Uh, my mom passed away. That's mom. Okay, cool. Would, would y'all have a lot of conversations back and forth or like get into it? Yeah. Cool. Are you okay with her coming through too? Sure. Okay, cool. Sorry. I know we wanted life guidance and balance too, but this may go into like dead people. Are you okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. We'll do both of them, but hang on. Your mom says she let you down. Did she let you down with her passing? Um, not let me. I mean, I mean, yeah, because I'm kind of lost without her. So yeah. Yeah, she says I let her down. She goes, I let her down. I haven't actually heard that in a long time. It's not like. Hang on. God, why did she ever hurt? Hang on. She took care of me. Did you take care of her? Yes. Cool. She, wow. she Okay. This is part of it. She goes, she took care of me. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, the way that I'm saying things, it's very point blank for me. I'm going to try to put more emotion into it. Mm -hmm. But just because I want to make sure that we get everything. Hang on. Okay. And she was so worried. Okay, you were there up until she passed. Mm -hmm. I mean, talking to her every day, yes. Mm -hmm. All the time, yeah. She's talking about, she says, oh, we we're stubborn. She goes, I was stubborn. Do you think that's where she gets it from? I said, okay, I don't know if she is yeah. or not. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> she goes, oh, I was stubborn. She's stubborn. Do you think that's where she gets it from? Yeah. I was like, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Hang on. She says she doesn't know where she wants to be right now. Wait, are you in like a middle of a transition right now? Or like are you transitioning in life right now or something like that? Yeah, yeah, I got a lot going on right now. A lot, a lot. Because she goes, she doesn't know where she wants to be. I said, fine. Running around with all these kids. Wait, do you have kids around you? Do you have kids around you? Yeah, I'm a daycare owner. <laughs> no shit. She says running around with all these kids around her. I was yeah. like. Dude, yeah, that's a, owner. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a tough job. Yeah, I, it is. Wow. Mm -hmm. You have a heart of gold because I would take all the children, I would stuff them in a box and feed them through the hole. <laughs> um, I'd be like, we're going to learn. Come out with your 10. I'm a horrible person. Though, I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm not. I never grew up with kids. And so when I had my first, it was a very learning experience. Um, hang on.
she's so passionate about you. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful though. She's beautiful though. Yeah. Look where she came from. Look where she came from. Is that what she said? Uh-huh. Oh wow. Yeah, because yeah, I came from a rough, rough childhood. So yeah. Really? She said because she wow. said she's beautiful though. She's beautiful. Look where she came from. She goes, mm -hmm. You see that? Like it's almost like I, I can't even put the like the words and the feeling behind it. Like that. Um, hold on. Because I wasn't always the best mom, but at least I tried. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, and wow. She, and she came back for me. So you came back for her. Yes. Mm. She says, I was worried about that for a minute. She got into things that I just did not like. She goes, she saw her way out of the darkness. So did you get into some things that were really going to put you down a wrong path and you ended up like turning it around? Because I feel like you've been pretty straightforward. Because she says, oh, she was able to see the light. She was able to come out on the light. She was able to come out on it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what she was on that one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe some wrong relationships, but, you know. But that's it. Yeah. 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 Now she doesn't know where she's at. Are you in the middle as far as relationships goes now? No, my fiance passed away. So it's kind of, he passed away July 21st. So it's, it's hard. God damn it. Why don't you tell? <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. She said, baby, he was left for dead. Was he left for dead? Um, no, I don't think so. Why does he say that he was left for dead? Like, why does he say he died, like, in a, like, very serious, tragic way, like, alone? What is going on with that? Uh, he had congestive heart failure. That's, okay, okay, okay. They're talking about him just dropping out. Hang on. Okay, y'all were together for years? Yeah. Cool. She says she gave her the, she gave him the best years of his life. Hang oh, on. wow, and that's what he told me, too. Oh. Wow. Really? Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. Sorry, you'll see me like come out and be like, no shit. Hang on. Hang on. Wait, did y'all want to have kids together? You have kids. No. We we talked about it, but we didn't go no further about it. He says they wanted to have kids together. That's what I'm like, okay, okay. Her life was her life. Hang on. She said he would catch his breath literally when he saw you. So his his congestive heart failure was hardcore. Yeah. 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 Hold on. I'm going to get into it. I'm, I'm getting into him. Hang on. Because then we're like segueing into it. He says, I didn't get enough time with her and I wish I could get it back. Oh, me too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me too. Did you move? Yes. Cool, because he says it's not the same house I was in. Right. Oh, wow. Cool. Oh, yeah. then, this is home. It's not the same house I was in, but at least it's home. Mm -hmm. Talking about like not, it's good because you're not able to like retrace the steps of where he was. Like you're not able to re-see it. It's like watching him walk in as you're like staring blankly into the doorway, you know, like yeah. really those memories do you still have the same bed yes cool. he goes but she still has the same bed <laughs> we won't talk about that <laughs> you are with him too near the end all the way to the end 
till his last day. He's talking about hand hand holding is a big thing. Oh my God! I held his hand until yesterday he passed. Oh my God! That was a hand holding to show you. I have that. a picture of me holding his hand. Really? Yes. Oh my God. Mm. I know. I know. I know. Welcome into my world. I get it. He he is. He said, I didn't want to go, but I'm free. I said, fine. Oh, wow. Got those marks for me. Got those marks for me. Who has marks for him? Who has, does somebody have a tattoo for him? Oh, my God. I have it on my arm. <laughs> a picture of his face. <laughs> yes. No shit. <sighs> okay. Okay. She, says, she got those marks for me. And I'm oh. like, okay. Oh. He said he was skinnier than that. <laughs> yeah, he was. Makes him look fat. I'm like, oh my God, stop. I said, your jawline looks good. Stop. Oh, wow. He said, we were a handsome couple, though. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Oh, okay. God. Oh my god. Oh. I got your mama. Oh my god, that's great. Wait, watch out. Wait, do you live by yourself? Yes, with my kids, yeah. That's your kid. Okay, cool. Because he's talking about you feel like your own island, but you're always taking care of other people. That's why I'm like, you live by yourself, but like you're always taking care of other little people. So that would make sense. Okay. Yeah. Wow. He says, man, we're supposed to be a family. I was supposed to be her backbone. Man. Mm. Hold on. We're going to get really deep real quick, okay? Mm -hmm. Hang on. You're like, how much deeper can we get? I'm like, I know. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, God. Oh. So sweet. He's talking about thank you for being by my side when I wasn't always by yours. <laughs> His lips like surrounded yours when he gave you a kiss. Yes. <laughs> they like went all the way around. It's like me. I got my lip fillers and they're showing like me versus my husband. It's like, and I'm like, I get yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a kiss. That's a kiss. That's like showing that that. Oh, <laughs> hang on. Sorry, I get all the feels. There's all the like this emotional lovey. It's because you're a mommy. <laughs> it's because of him. Hang on. Thought of me as a dad. Okay, so he, who thought of him as a dad? my kids they all did he's like man they thought of me as a dad i didn't want them to see him like that did you hide him hide the kids away from him or something like that for a second no he got really sick and he didn't want them to see him like that going into you know yeah the last yeah. really? okay okay You have really young kids. Yeah. He's talking about, I wish I would be able to be there to, like, teach you how to do the bullies in school. Or I wish I would have been there to, like, teach you how to, it's like this little bit of, like, playing sports or something like that. And he's talking oh, about. Obi. Yeah, Obi plays baseball. <laughs> uh, I'm going to teach him how to play that. And I'm like, okay. Mm. He. <laughs> <laughs> It got right. you up emotional. <laughs> oh, it does. It makes me cry. I try to not be emotional because I stop channeling. I get it all the time, but I have to suppress it because if I get my own emotions involved, then it goes out the window. <laughs> but sometimes I cry and I'm like, hang on, give me one second to reconstitute myself. Mm. How tall is he? 
for me, he's like, he's like, what, like six foot? You're like, what, five foot, five, five? No, I'm five, two. He was like maybe five, six. Okay, because he's talking about having your head being hit right here on him. Yes, his chin. That's the height I came to. <laughs> really? Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm six feet tall. And so I'm like, I'm trying to judge yeah. me. I'm like, where is he at? Okay. Oh, God. Okay. He's talking about, it's like, it's like I was wish I was there to like this and have your head hit right here. It, it's, it's a physical thing. He is there. He's there, but just for you to feel it. Feel him, yeah, because I, I, I talk to him a lot at night and I miss him. I know you do. I know you do. He said, I try to get into your dreams, but you won't let him. Have you not had a dream about him yet? No, I haven't. <laughs> he said, I try to get into your dreams, but you won't let me. Um, and I actually haven't had that before. And you're like, no, Amy, I fucking do. I ask him. I tell him to. I blow, you know, all this stuff. Okay. What I want you to do mm -hmm. is you're always really worried about kids. You're always nervous about kids. You let them go. Right. So your brain is constantly active in these other areas. It is at night. I don't sleep really good because I'm always up just wandering. So. Correct. Correct. It, and that's why he hasn't been able to come there. Mm. It's because you have to be relaxed. You have to be available. Like you literally have to go to bed like. I love you. And then it's allowed to come through. If you can't, if you, if your brain, your, if your signals, your radio waves, brain energy, whatever you want to call it, if it can't get into that deep enough state to allow that to open up, it's not going to happen. Do I think it's going to happen in the next two to three months? Yeah, because I think this reading in a way is going to make you go, oh my God, there's shit up there. Like, yeah. what? And so it's going to cause you to relax a little bit more. Um, but I think with fretting about the kids and, and being nervous and a little bit anxious and what's going to happen next and preparing for the next day, you just got to time, find time for yourself. And I know that's really hard right now because I know it's only you. So it's a lot easier said than done. I can tell you that. Yeah. Okay. It is. It is. Hold on, let me get back into, do, wait, before I go from him, because it's kind of like I, I skip pe person to person. Do you, hold on. He says, you remember that day? He says, you prayed, you prayed for me. You prayed, you prayed for me. Yes. Were you there praying for him? Yes. He says, you remember that day? He said, you prayed. You pray for me. He said, I heard. I tried. I tried. I couldn't. I couldn't. He said, uh, not love you, though. Huh? He said, it doesn't mean I didn't love you, though. I know he loved me, and I loved him, too. I know. I be feeling like he's around me, like here, like some things be happening. I'll be like, wait a minute. Oh, how do you think I'm talking to him? I don't know. <laughs> He's around because he hangs out just because, okay, right now, right? Even you and me talking, we're not physically in front of each other, right? It's right. the energy and I can see it. I can feel it. I can hear it, right? You're not physically in front of me, but yet I know you're here. Same with him. You may not have a thing that you can, like a computer screen, that you can perceive the image, but doesn't mean you can't feel or acknowledge or hear or these other senses that they're there. We just don't have that capability yet to do it. And then in a way, I don't know, my theory is, I don't know if we should have the full capability, because if we did we really want to want we really want to want to go through this life right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we, it's hard. It's hard. It is hard. It is hard. And so, if we knew what was on where we came from or where we go back to, we wouldn't want to be here. No. Mm -mm. No. 
so it's this it's this communication that we have right now that really lifts us up, lifts us up and says all right we need to hunker down we need to get this shit going we're going to continue on like it's good it's like a little it's like a, a jolt of hope in a way mm-hmm. you know and i don't even want it to be hope i want it to be faith right so, with that too let me get back into mom wait let me go into because i want your life i want your life path as well so before I get into that. Mommy is fine. He's fine as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. They're around you. They hang out with you. Just uh, keep praying. Keep talking. As soon as you breathe and have a moment to just relax, which you're always on top of things. Like you're, you're the most amazing person. Like you're always on top of things. So it's going to be really yeah. hard for you to just chill to have those dreams. Yeah. But it, it can come through. And whenever it does happen, I don't think it's going to be a point where they come and talk to you. It's going to be a point where you see them. And when, when you wake up, you're going to be like, well, why didn't they say anything? It's because you're not relaxed enough to allow them to come through. So even if you just see, even if you just feel, even if you just get a hug, think that. Yeah, because okay? I, I just been like, wanting him to come to me so bad but i think i'm just like so anxious and then got everything yeah going you know so i know i mean i mean we just miss him i know i he he's around he he messes with stuff he's very why why do you think just replay this recording and you'll be like oh shit, it's all this stuff so with you what is um what is your date of birth uh march 14 1984 freaking pisces I love yes. <laughs> my sister my mom my best friends everybody's a pisces um and then what city were you born in um city of saginaw michigan mm-hmm. okay how do you spell that sag s-a-g-i-n-a-w okay all right sorry i'm putting in my little what do you call it uh hang on mm-hmm. okay i have an excel spreadsheet that i put in for my chart and that way i can pull everything up as well and that way i can look at everything that would make sense Woo! What happened? Look. girl i know sometimes you feel like you're bipolar and you are not <laughs> You are absolutely right. Oh my god! Like, I want to kill you and I want to love you and nurture you at the same time. Yeah, yeah. These children, like, no. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You are the most loving, nurturing, family-oriented person. But you want to be the best, and you want to make sure you're in control, and you want to make. But but it's weird because you almost like have this badassery attitude about you, like. I'm going to do it. I'm going to talk to you strict. I'm going to beat your ass. But then you're like, do you want some candy? Like, it's very, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of, yes, yes. Oh my God. Yes. It's this little bit of softness that comes through. And it's, yes. it's it, you, you have a lot of it. You have a lot of it. And, and I think he really stroked your ego and, and, you need somebody that's going to nurture and make you feel literally like the queen that you are. Like literally. That's what he did. That's what he did. And like, it's so hard right now, like living without him. Like, cause I mean, he treated me like a straight queen. queen. Yeah. Yeah. And he felt, you felt each other. You yes. literally, I know it was that deep, meaningful, intense relationship. I don't even want to get into the future yet because I want you to feel what it's like with him and where it's at. I, I would say in relationship time, get into another relationship in a year, but you, you I just don't feel like nobody can compare. And I, I would say you will find somebody like him. Mm. You won't, you'll, you'll find somebody where you like certain aspects but it's not the same and he says oh i'll wait for you so it's almost like oh, that's gonna be the the main oh. even even when you get involved with somebody it's almost like you just date them for a long time or you're engaged there's not like a hardcore marriage or anything involved yeah. 
it's it's a, it's a continuation. You get sick of it. He'll 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 come back around, y'all. Y'all y'all are y'all are destined. You'll come back around in another lifetime too. Don't worry about it. Okay. But I know you miss your friend. I know you miss your friend. That's I your. Do. I really do. Oh, and that's, that's what I was telling myself. I think I don't know if it was last night or this morning. I was like, just talking to him, like you were my best friend. Like I'm lost. I know. Yeah. Mm. Who he is. So don't don't feel I know this is not a hug. I know this is not I love you from his voice. Believe me, if I could do that, I would totally do it. Um, but I hope it brings you a little bit closer. You know? And and with you moving forward, just know that your emotions are correct you're going to be bopping around and hopping around from different things for quite some time. You're going to end up having your kids make sure you're okay. Not in a bad way, but just like you're going to be beating their ass and taking their names and having a good time. And they're going to make sure that you're okay later on. It is going to be a little stressful over like the next 10 years, but it, it's going to work out. It's nothing terrible that you can't manage. It's more just like quirky. It's just like, it's quirky. Okay, so tell him you love him. Take a few moments. Have a good breather. I mean, in, in, in closing, God's help. Forgive mom. Tell her you love her. And it's not forgiveness, but just like that, that you love her because there was a lot of strain between you two. Yeah, I do love her. Yeah. And, and he's good too. But just if you get a dream about any of them. Email me and let me know over the next week or two. Okay. Okay. Cause that's, that happens a lot because we've already opened up this Avenue. You're already more open to it. You've already felt more into it. Um, and when you go to bed, calm yourself down, breathe, know that everything's okay. And when you wake up in the morning, it'll still be there. Yeah. Okay. So what about like his, like, cause his father just passed too, from, you know, from being sick, dude. Did he have respiratory issues or did he have heart or congestive heart or lung or respiratory issues? Who was the dad? Mm -hmm. Yes, he had congestive heart failure as well. Oh, he did too. Okay, cool. Cause there's a lot of like, oh, okay. And I'm like, yeah. I have pops. So he has dad. That's what he used to call him, too, Pops. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. Yeah. She said, I have Pop. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Good, too. I know. I know. Welcome into my real world, right? <laughs> no. Yes, and me and his dad had a good relationship, too, so. He's cool. He just passed, though, like a couple months ago. He's just passed. Yeah, he passed on Thanksgiving Day. Oh my God! So it literally was. Wow. Yeah. Okay, because he showed me two, which is okay. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be two months. Okay. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. So take five minutes in closing right now. Take five minutes. Take ten minutes. Have a good cry. Have a good breather as much as you can. Yeah. And I will send you the recording tomorrow. Re-listen to it. Rewatch it. And um. I mean, if you need me, if you have any questions, if you need me again, just, just email me first. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. I oh, love you too. You just don't know. You made me feel so much better. And I know I did what I was supposed to do and everything by him. Cause like now the family, well, a couple, well, a couple of the family members feel like I had something to do with him passing and stuff like that. So, and treat me bad. So, you know, yeah. He he knows that I didn't I didn't do nothing but take care of him and correct that, that's all that matters especially for him to say thank you she took care of me to the end so correct well show show them the recording if they have any questions have them hit me up okay yeah all right I love you thank you you're amazing love you as well thank you baby Mwah.